in the world of Muay Thai and kickboxing. One name shines brighter than the rest. If I had one fighter that I'm gonna watch tape on, just just just, just for pure inspiration, it's Ramon Deckers. Oh. Woo! Ramon. Yes, that's him. That's him. That's the greatest fighter. My diamond. That's wow. the greatest fighter. And before we continue, chapter one: the rise to glory. Deckers began his journey at the tender age of twelve. Training in white eye under the watchful eye of Core Hammers. His first fight, at just 16 years old, ended with a left hook, a harbinger of his explosive style. He quickly climbed the ranks, becoming the MTBN Dutch champion with a high kick that sent a message to the world. You know, what can I say about Roman Deckers? Well, he was the Thai boxer that I shaped my own fighting style to. Chapter 2 European Domination By the age of 20, Deckers had already secured two European Championship titles. In 1988, he faced Moon Gordum Sichang, a respected champion, and won the International Muay Thai Association belt, signaling his intent on the global stage. You watch it and it's like, well, they kind of exaggerated. You can't do that guy justice. You can't do him justice. You got to watch how violently he fought. Just it was so hyper aggressive and vicious knockout power, beautiful combinations and everything he threw was 100%. He did his best. He trained like hell, but he was not really particularly nervous. He, he could talk and, and go to uh, to the weigh-ins, like uh, very relaxed, and he was really relaxed. And on the moment that he had to fight, it was like, oh. Chapter 3 Conquering Thailand The fight that will etch Decker's name in history took place in Amsterdam. It was in uh, 1990. I uh, fought against a Thai called Nam Pong in Amsterdam. In 1990, he faced the Thai hero Nam Hun and their battle was watched by millions in Thailand. Deckers emerged victorious, claiming the MTF title. But the story didn't end there. A rematch in Bangkok added a new chapter to their rivalry. He was the first white person to, to beat the ties. He was such a role model and, and I wanted to follow in his footsteps, st still to this day. Chapter 4. The feud with Koban. Decker's path crossed with the legendary Koban, Luke Chao Mai Tsai Tong, known as the Cruncher. Their rivalry produced four epic battles, with each fighter claiming victories. Their first bout was a difficult battle. Koban is constantly mauling Decker's, until he throws a devastating left hook that ends the fight. This moment fueled Decker's ego and ignited his thirst for revenge. In their second bout in Lumpini Stadium, Deckers unleashed a barrage of powerful punches and devastating low kicks, showcasing his aggressive fighting style with an absence of elaborate setups. A final right hand from Deckers sent Koban crashing to the canvas. He bested the Thai fighters in their own domain at Lumpini Stadium, the esteemed Muay Thai Arena. Deckers faced Koban twice more, losing the third bout and emerging victorious in the fourth. These fights with Koban are still celebrated as some of the most thrilling in the sport's history. Chapter 5 A Brutal Showdown One of Deckers most famous fight was against Orono or Mangubon. Despite not being in his best shape, he engaged in a brutal battle that secured his name in the chronicles of Muay Thai history. In Thailand, he became a legend, embraced by the Thai people for his achievements. Deckers found a warm welcome in the heart of Muay Thai homeland. On the king's 85th anniversary, Deckers received a royal award and was appointed ambassador for foreign fighters. 
So I won't regret all those injuries I had and everything. So this makes it better. Chapter 6 The Heart of a Champion. The difference between you, they said. I said, yeah, I had my own style. That was Ramon Decker's style. That was totally different than fighting like a Thai. A little bit different, but I make not a lot of combinations. You know, I box a lot and then I finish it with a kick, or I kick and then I punch. And then I, I kept on doing th this, was my style. Deckers initially retired in 2001, but couldn't resist the allure of the ring. He continued to fight, even with physical limitations. That guy smashed his ankle so bad they had to fuse his ankle, and the doctor told him, listen, man, you got to stop kicking with this thing. And he's like, yeah, yeah, tape it up. Never complained during a fight, like when he broke a foot or a hand, he wouldn't complain. He wouldn't even tell his corner that he broke something. Ramon Deckers remained a prominent figure in the sport. His journey inspired countless others to follow in his footsteps. Chapter 7 Tragedy Strikes On February 27 of 2013, tragedy struck, Ramon Deckers suffered a heart attack at the age of 43. He was riding his bike when he collapsed. A few bystanders attempted to assist him before emergency services arrived and attempted to revive him to no avail. Hundreds of family members and friends very well Deckers at his funeral. He left his legacy, an enduring saga of bravery, etched in the hearts of fighters, an immortal inspiration in the arena of combat. Ramon the Diamond Deckers was more than a fighter. He was a legend, a diamond that shone brightest in the world of Muay Thai and kickboxing. Uh, be an inspiration for the new fighters. I post something from Ramon in the old days and then I look at those fighters and I think, man, man. Fighting epic battles and earning respect from top fighters, Deckers proved achieving the impossible is real. Inspiring generations to pursue their dreams fearlessly. Deckers' life, a captivating saga, that reads like a myth, but isn't. A tale of an ordinary man turned legend. His journey in the heart of martial arts history. A story told with every punch thrown and every victory earned. Thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to leave your comments below.